Baseball beats Battlestar Galactica. Happy Hobby, I'm David Goss, and today is opening day in Major League Baseball, which means today we're going to talk about why baseball is best. And we're also going to talk about a free giveaway, 1968 Tops, Carl Yastrzemski, PSA 5, Triple Card Crown Game. My boy Patrick Imhoff came up with this idea, and I think it's a splendid one. But basically the way it works is, in the comments on this video, I want you to pick three players, one pitcher and two hitters, that their card values, are raw cards, raw base cards, are going to go up in value the most by season's end. Now we're going to do this giveaway uh, in early November. So through the World Series, which cards are going to go up in value the most? Now it's going to be a cumulative um, uh, winner. In other words, the the most money that adds up from the uh, each card instead of percentage in other words so we're going to do that Th that's today this is happening today start getting your picks in the deadline for getting your picks in is april 15th so it's for, uh triple card crown and the reason we call this three players mm, pitcher hitter hitter we thought about splitting it up um, which the hitters just pitcher hitter and a hitter in this instance shohei Otani is only eligible as a hitter not a pitcher as well, but really, if he does great things as a pitcher, it's going to increase his value. So that's up to you. But maybe a bunch of people are going to pick Shohei, so then it really undercuts your attempt at winning. Who knows? Whatever you want to do. So free Yaz 1968 Tops PSA 5 card. I don't own it yet, but here it is, right here, right there. I don't own it yet. I'll get it before November, and uh, we'll give that card away as, as to the winner, to the the best uh, triple card crown winner, so to speak. Um, and we do that because Carl Yastrzemski in 1967 won the triple crown. What? Yeah, see it? Patrick Imhoff, this isn't, he. This he's not a, some flyby. He thought this through. It's an excellent idea, excellent idea for a giveaway. I'm a big fan of it. Speaking of big fans, today is MLB opening day, 2023 baseball opening day. So I thought I would share with you, I wrote an article, this is like 10, 12 years ago, 50 reasons why baseball is awesome. Well, there's more than 50 reasons. And I also started to include some reasons that um, baseball cards are awesomer than other cards. So I thought I'd share that with you today, just list it through. And then you can also drop in the comments why you think baseball is awesome that I may have missed. And really, baseball gets a, it gets a, a bad knock these days, especially by... Younger people that don't really, it's not really as exciting to them. Baseball is a cerebral game. It started out, uh, you know, 150 some odd years ago. It's, it's a game where there's a pitch, a swing, a not a swing. There's meant to be discussion between each action. So basketball, stuff's going on all the time. Hockey, game is happening all the time. There's not a lot of openings for discussion. Football, a lot of grunting in between plays. I love football too. Not the most cerebral game. So baseball, it's a cerebral game. That's why it takes, there's some nuances to it. This is a historic game, especially obviously in the in the country of the United States. It's a very historic game. One thing I love, let's start this off. The number one thing, it's not really ranked, but my first thing is the upside down mini helmets filled with ice cream. Those are amazing. The suicide squeeze. Wooden bats. Wooden bats? They don't allow the minor league. To... Suddenly, left-handed people matter. It's true. The seventh inning stretch. Managers running out into the field to argue a call. Fifty or so baseballs end up in the stands for every game. Fouls or home run balls. I think football should make it where touchdowns are always thrown into the stands. Why isn't that a thing? I don't understand that. In baseball, the greatest thing that can happen, a home run, goes into the stands as a souvenir every single time. The 5-4-3 double play. Dents on the green monster. The green monster itself is pretty amazing. Roll call in right field at Yankee Stadium. Tommy John surgery. 
that's that's a big deal. Forty two jerseys on Jackie Robinson Day. Different dimensions in all baseball stadiums. What imagine now hockey used to have that. But imagine if in basketball some some courts were 150 feet, some courts 90 feet. It was all different. Maybe you know, it'd be a little crazy. Sausage races. The physics of the curveball. The 1971 Topps Thurman Munson card, one of the most beautiful cards ever created. Yogi, Bob Costas, fathers and mothers and sons and daughters enjoying a game together. Baseball's place in civil rights history. Little League. If not for baseball, we'd have to watch tennis all summer. Closers entrance songs and batters walk-up music. A catch against the wall. A little chin music. Playing catch with your dad or your son. Peanuts and hot dogs just taste better there. And you better believe I'm eating a hot dog today. Ken Burns. A triple. Fitted baseball caps. The stories about Harry Carey and Mickey Mantle. Billy Martin. Bill the Spaceman Lee. Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth. Topps All-Star Rookie Cup. 56. Spring Training. The 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. card. Bloopers on This Week in Baseball with Mel Allen. Y'all might not remember that. That's an old school one. Sports Greatest Villain, the New York Yankees. <clears throat> Buck O'Neill. First baseman split to catch a ball. Pesky's pole. The Sacrifice Buck. Old stadiums with troughs as urinals. The walk-off home run. Bowman first cards. The Ivy at Wrigley Field. Mound Ball. Nicknames like The Splendid Splinter. The Say Hey Kid. Charlie Hustle. Pudge. Showtime. Polar Bear. And El Nino. Visiting teams homers getting returned to the field in Chicago. I know that, that happens in a lot of stadiums, but I'm pretty sure the Chicago White Sox started that whole thing, so we're going with that. Rotisserie. Gem Mint Tens. I know you can get them in other sports, but it's, it's more. Uh, it's baseball. The Sandlot. Vintage. SPs, 1975 tops, the home run derby, junk wax. Who doesn't love junk wax baseball? It's called junk, but it's still amazing. Rated rookies, Dominicans, gold parallels, Billy the Marlin, come on, Mad Dog, Chris Russo, MLB Tonight, games every single day. Ichiro and Shohei. Bunting. Now I'm talking about both in the stadiums, but also on the field. Patriots Day early baseball games. Mr. and Mrs. Met. Stirrups. McCovey Cove. No hitters. Seven of them by the Ryan Express. By the way, uh, you don't think... Uh, I'd squeeze into this Smedium Round Rock Express shirt for just any day. It's baseball opening day. And did you know that Nolan Ryan partially owns the AAA team for the Texas Rangers, the Round Rock Express? And finally, stealing home. So those are my favorite things that make baseball awesome. I want to know from you in the comments below, what makes baseball awesome to you? Why is opening day such an awesome day to you? Let's hear it in the comments. Whatever you do, have an awesome opening day, but also have a happy hobby.